wanted to do something that looked at driving rather than the car itself. Obviously the car is a huge essential component to driving, but we wanted to try to get a sort of visceral experience of driving heavily inspired by the 1966 film Grand Prix. What they did that was special in Grand Prix was, well for starters they didn't have any of the modern tools that we maybe take for granted today. The rigs they had, the technology they had access to was literally nuts and bolts, pieces of pipe, the vibration suppression systems they had then were just nothing compared to what we have today. So taking the wide angle field of view from like a 25 mil anamorphic and taking it into a car environment, I really felt like I wanted to sort of pay, do a bit of a homage to Grand Prix and how could we take the audience into the experience of driving and make it something that they could feel in addition to sort of hear and sort of see the car on the track and um, really try to, I don't know, maybe like an extra sensory experience, I guess, maybe that went just beyond a stabilized shot of a car going around a track. Obviously a huge governing factor for this piece even existing in the first place is the fact that Atlas now have a 25 millimeter anamorphic lens, which wide anamorphics are not hugely common. They're, some do exist, but um, Atlas have made a, a, a proper true 25 millimeter focal length in, uh, in an anamorphic format. So very exciting to be able to have that in the Orion lineup and gives us one more significant paintbrush to go off and paint with as filmmakers and cinematographers and directors. With the 25 millimeter being so wide, it prompted just a lot of conversations on how could we use the lens and present it in such a way that showed its characteristics. So given what we were trying to achieve of sort of teleporting the audience into the car so they could feel all the sensations of what it's like to, to drive something like this around a racetrack, where we put the camera was obviously going to be critical. We shot the whole piece on the red Komodo, its weight, its footprint, the quality of the image, but then also the global shutter that it has, it just made it like the perfect candidate for the shoot. In addition to that, there is a, one of my favorite accessories I've, I've come across in a long time is a Komodo specific mount from a company called POV. It, it cut out a lot of the headaches that you'd normally associate with trying to just get a camera, camera level on a vehicle, let alone drive around a racetrack at north of 120 miles an hour and hope it stays on. Coupled with the POV mount was Tilter's Hydra Alien car kit. And between those two, there was nothing we couldn't really get if we really wanted to get a certain angle hanging off the side of the car or on the top of the car or the back. It, 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 we, we could we could work the system to get almost anything that we wanted to get. These modern tools that we have from the camera to obviously the lens itself, but then what POB make, what Tilter make, these companies constantly pushing forward with ideas to hand down to filmmakers. It's We're in such a good time to go and play around with different shots and you can almost let your imagination run really wild in that pre-production phase and get really, really close to it by the time you go out and shoot. So. It's such a great time to be doing even something as complicated as making sure a camera stays on a race car as you go on a racetrack. The, the tools just sort of now exist to do it in a way that um, can be super robust, super trustworthy, super lightweight, and it not cost a fortune. Anybody in the filming world, I hope they take away like an extra paintbrush maybe, or just a small seed of an idea of how maybe they want to tell their story or how they maybe they might want to use a 25 mil anamorphic lens. You know, when someone sees something and, and they think, well, I would have done it like this. I wouldn't have done it how they did it. That's that's great. You know, you're, you're triggering something in them of they have their own opinion and, and their own idea. So hopefully in some way, shape or form, this will bring about, that, just like I say, that extra color in there arsenal of what they can then go and paint with.